In this video, I will show you how to create your own custom 3D map animation. I already did a map animation last week, but that was just using an image. And the cool thing is you can use this effect in any edit. Now, if you want to become a better editor, get clients, or level up your skills with some crazy editing techniques, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. I also just released a deep dive on Thomas Gannett's style. The response has been great, and also I'm really happy with that end result. Again, link is in the description. Now let's jump into it. Now we're here in After Effects, and we're going to use a plugin, and we go to Window Extend extensions geo layers now normally i don't like using plugins i want to keep my tutorials as accessible as possible but this plugin is just really good at creating maps now once it's open you'll see this and there's actually some presets that you can use i'm not going to use any preset now i'm just going to go to new project and then you'll see this map now you can actually adjust this later on but we can already search for a country that we want to do for example i'm going to new york next year so i'm gonna zoom in and you can actually also search for it so new york and then you'll see the whole state of new york we of course want new york city so i'm just gonna zoom in a bit more maybe something like this that's cool now once you've found the part of the map that you want we have some other settings here the size the frame rate and the duration now of course we can change this to 4k or the frame rate we can higher that or you can just keep it like this, whatever you want. Then we're gonna click next. Now we see the map style. There's a couple of styles that we can choose from. Now I'm gonna go with this one, then press apply and then press create. Now we'll show the map in really low resolution. I will show you in a bit how to fix that. But first I'm gonna get rid of these labels. You can see here, New York and Jersey City. If you want that, you can keep that in. So I'm gonna click at the top where we see the New York map comp. Then I'm gonna click on this menu icon and then we're going to click on the settings and here we can change a couple of settings and here you can see map comp labels we can just click on that and it will be disabled you also see attribution i'm going to turn that off i'm going to set that to none and i'm going to turn the imagery motion blur to on and you can also increase the quality now again now that doesn't get rid of the blurriness i think that's actually fine if we keep it at 80 percent now press apply now what i'm going to do i'm going to create an animation so what we can actually do is click on the keyframe to keyframe this so i'm just going to click on the keyframe icon it will create keyframes as you can see it will also automatically open it so we can just select these keyframes drag them out for example to like five seconds or maybe even six seconds and then here i'm actually gonna zoom out and you can zoom out even more by clicking on the zoom out button and it will load the map and then what we can also do is for example here we can change the pitch a bit we can even change the bearing a bit maybe making it rotate like this now i'm just going to change my quality quickly to quarter and if i'm going to play this now you will see this really cool animation already and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these keyframes i'm going to drag them out maybe even more and i'm going to go to the graph editor now i'm going to drag these handles to the left let's go and this will make this really smooth animation maybe i'm even going to start it from here so that's really really cool now we can click on finalize it will take a while we can press ok and now is full resolution if you now change our quality to full it will be really really sharp as you can see now this first animation i'm not the biggest fan of mainly because of the bearing i'm gonna go into this graph and i'm gonna maybe slow this down a bit now what you might notice is that this map changes so it changes in color that's mainly because of the map style that we're using we can actually go back into the settings click on settings and then change the map to satellite for example then press apply and then press finalize again and let's see if this is better this is definitely better there's no change in colors actually this looks really really cool now this is nice but of course it's really basic we want to add some effects to this so first we're going to get rid of this water now there's multiple ways to get rid of this water we can or use key light and this depends a bit on your map if there's enough contrast between it then you can actually use key light here I already see that the colors blend into each other. So we're probably gonna have a difficult time using key light. We can drag it on quickly, click on the screen color and let's pick it somewhere here. As you can see, the whole New York will be gone and we can actually dial down the screen gain a bit or go into the screen mat and dial down the clip white. As you can see, it will be really difficult. We are getting rid of it somewhat here. So I'm not gonna use key light for this project, but you need to test this out with your map. So I'm actually gonna click on this button, create water mask map comp. If you click on that, it will create a separate comp and it will basically mask the water out as you can see. That's perfect. So we can actually close this down 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this map comp and I'm gonna take the water mask off. You can just delete it and our water will be back. And now I'm gonna press T for transparency and I'm gonna dial it down a bit. Cause I don't wanna get rid of all the water. I wanna mix it a bit in, something like this. Then I'm gonna go to project. And then I actually have this 4K ocean water that we can just drag in. This is way too big, but it's fine for now. I'm gonna make it 3D. And by the way, if you want this file, of course, if you're in the pro community, you will get this project file with all the assets. But if you're, but let's say you really don't have the money to join the pro community, then you can still download the assets for free. Link is in the description. Now, once we made it 3D, we can actually link it to the map comp. We do that by clicking this button. So pin selected layers to map. If we hit that button, it will basically be glued onto our map. And this is really cool. As you can see, it will fill the, uh, the whole thing. And now we can drag it under all these layers. It will be basically under all these layers. Let's go a bit further so we can see. I actually want to start the animation around here. Now there's quite a lot of water that we need to fill in. So we need to press S for scale. We can actually just scale this up. Just like this and ideally i don't want to scale it too much but i think this should work i'm actually going to select all my layers and i'm just going to move them to the start something like this and let's see maybe a bit more it's starting to zoom in already just like this and that looks so cool right oh i love it now of course we can even make an animation like a pinpoint here and do the same thing like just pin it to the layer and that's it but I'm still not happy with our animation. I still want to stylize it a bit more. So just like last time, I'm gonna add some clouds. I'm gonna just drag these in. I'm gonna also make them 3D and I'm gonna click on the pin select layers to map. Now, if we go back in time, it will look really boring. And that's because they're all pinned to this map, but we want to create some depth. And you do this by going to the effect controls, selecting one of these clouds, and you will see a pixel offset. Now with this pixel offset, we can actually just move it more towards the camera. We can even move it around just like this. We can rotate it a bit, maybe something like this. Let's grab the other one. And I'm also gonna move this up maybe to 800. Let's move this a bit to the side. We can actually press S for scale to scale it up. Fortunately, we can't do that with the other values. Maybe just to cover it, the image a bit, maybe something like this, really add that effect. I'm gonna scale the other one up too. Press S for scale. Let's move this one a bit. And then we have a couple of others. I'm gonna move this up. And by not making them all at the same spot, you will create depth in the image, which will really bring this effect to life. And if you hold shift while dragging this, it actually goes quicker to move it around. Something like this. I'm also gonna scale this one up, by the way. Press S for scale. Something like this. I'm just gonna quickly preview this. It looks so realistic, I love it. Now, <laughs> this one is really in the way. Uh, we still have to move that around. I'm gonna move this up a bit. Basically, all the clouds need to be moved up a bit because they can't be at the same level as the map. But of course, you can have mist or something like that. And then the last one, which now really is in the way. I'm also gonna rotate it a bit. Move that, move that a bit to the left. Looks super, super dope. Now, of course, we can always change it a bit, scale this one up maybe, or maybe move it but I'm quite happy with this. Now at the end, I think it's a bit too static. So what I'm gonna do is select one of these clouds and I'm gonna keyframe that one. Let's see, I think it starts here. So we're just gonna set a keyframe for the 3D point. Let's go a bit further. And as you can see, it's still here on the right. I actually want to make it move like more to the left like this. So it makes it look like real clouds, right? Now I'm gonna go to layer new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna go to effects and presets and I'm gonna add a vignette just to add a bit of contrast to the image. As you can see, this will already bring the image a bit more to life. And I'm gonna add a CC lens. This will look like this first, but once you increase the size by a lot, you will create a bit of distortion in the edges. Not too much. I would say maybe around 300 for this image. And now the last one that I'm gonna add is curves. You can also use Lumetri color, whatever you want. But just a quick color correction. I think this is a bit too flat. So I'm just gonna add a simple S curve, just like this. And just quickly before, after, that looks so dope. And the final touch is a cool airplane. Again, I'm gonna make this 3D, open up geo layers again, you can click on import project and just hit cancel to open it again. And then of course, click the pin selected layers to map, which we used before. Now, of course, it's way too big. Press S for scale. Let's scale this down something like this. Let's go to the effect controls and let's set this to maybe something like 300 or maybe even more. 
400, something like that. I'm gonna scale it down even more. I'm gonna set it to 1%, just a tiny detail. I'm gonna set a keyframe and let's go back a bit. Let's move this more to the left. Press U to see our keyframes. Let's drag these keyframes out a bit and then enable motion blur also on the clouds, of course, to really sell this effect. And then you get something like this. I think it's such a cool effect. I really love creating these maps and do let me know what you want to see next. Of course, don't forget to check out the pro community. Link is in the description. Then, of course, like always, thanks for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you next time. Bye.